a bright sunny day in 1896. A man called Henry Becquerel, a scientist and mad keen photographer, was pondering over the newly discovered X-rays. Hmm, this uranium thing I have here. I wonder if I left it out in the sun whether it would emit X-rays. Kind of like those glow-in-the-dark stars that I have at home. Hmm. So he wrapped a photographic plate in black paper so the sun wouldn't develop them, put the uranium on the plates and left them for the day. He came back at the end of the day and developed his plates. To his delight, saw that the uranium had left a mark. His theory was right. But the French Academy of Science said, That's cool bro, but maybe try one more time, just in case. Becquerel went back the next day to try and repeat the experiment, but unfortunately, it was an overcast day. Well, guess I can't do the experiment today. A few days later, he opens the drawers and remembers that the uranium is in his drawer. He develops the plates anyway, even though he doesn't think he will see anything as they haven't been exposed to the sun. But when he does develop them... Holy smokes! It's left a mark! This must mean the uranium emits something all on its own! He discovered radiation! I shall call it Becquerel rays, named after me, naturally. But what were Becquerel rays? Along came Marie Curie and her husband Pierre Curie, who were fascinated by this new discovery. How cool are Becquerel rays? Yeah, I'm calling it radiation from now on. Yeah, okay, cool. How cool is radiation? It's cool, but this thing gives off way more radiation than uranium. Marie Curie had discovered a new element. It gives off so much radiation that I'm going to call it radium. Eventually, Marie and Pierre Curie worked out that radiation was emitted by certain atoms and in the process discovered another new element. I'm calling this one polonium after where I was born. You were born in polonium? No, Poland. For their work with the discovery of radiation, Becquerel and the Curies were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903. Marie Curie also won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry eight years later making her the first woman to ever win the Nobel Prize and the only person to this day to have won two Nobel Prizes in different areas. Since no one really knew the effects of radiation at the time, the Curies handled it without any of the equipment or precautions we use today. They would carry it in their pocket, touch it with their bare hands and have it with them all the time. Now we know it can be really harmful. The Curie's notebooks, even a hundred years on, are so radioactive that they have to be stored in a lead case.